what we'll say is it is recorded, but it is better to watch the training live. And I'm going to get started, but I'm, I'm going to start the training. Uh, as, as I say, the, the, it's going to start this slot, just a little video taken just from one of the people who qualified for India. Just a little taster. I'm going to go into the presentation, but I think it was Andrew Bod. Okay, what I've realised is I cannot talk while the videos are playing, uh, which is why I disappeared for a second there. And um, that was just a little taster uh, taken by Andy uh, Bodwell, uh, just to try and capture the the essence of these trips. Now, if you're plugging into this meeting tonight and you're brand new, let's get this um, presentation on. My screen wants to freeze tonight. It always does uh, when you don't want it to. Okay, we'll start from here. Good evening and welcome to the online uh, opportunity training. My name is Lynn McDonald and I'm going to be doing our training for this evening. Now, tonight I'm going to be covering uh, India, where we've just, clearly they have just returned from our incentive trip to India. Now, if you're brand new, clearly they reward us with amazing holidays and um, conferences uh, to exotic locations and we always say to people when we talk about these conferences that they're really hard to describe. You just have to be there. Um, but since I'm just back, I'm going to try my very, very hardest to describe for you exactly what Clean Easy put on for you and hopefully to let you see that you can be on these conferences. It's not too late to get to Mexico. I only got started for India really last April uh, due to ill health and I qualified because if you know what you have to do, um, and you really, really want it, you can do it. But before we get started, just a couple of quick recognitions here. Congratulations to Heather and Francis Thorpe. Sorry about the mistype there, Francis. And their first full period in Clean Easy achieving 13% and an income check of £399.50. And, and that was done, a mixture of catalogues and online well done you guys absolutely fantastic result for your first full month in the business now i'm pretty sure there's lots of recognition but you have to send it through to me tom and kate forbes congratulations and um, for they're on the league table for in, in mexico fantastic uh, keep up the good work um i think we're in position number nine but i'm sure or kate will um, let me know what you're on uh, but that's absolutely brilliant kate uh, tom and kate well done and you can be on that league table too and tonight first of all i'm going to tell you a little bit about india now, I will say a little bit because I've been uploading some photographs today uh, from, you know, the photographs I took and other people took uh, and Clean Easy took and 
even uploading the photographs uh, was taken for absolute ever because there just was so much packed into one conference. Uh, they are unbelievable. For various reasons, I've actually not been on a conference for a while. So sometimes you actually forget just how phenomenal these conferences are and how much you need to be there. You need to be on these trips. They will completely uh, transform you, transform your business, but they're mind-blowing. So hopefully... Um, this little presentation can actually give you a little taste of it, can capture it for you just a little bit. So we arrive in this beautiful five-star hotel in Goa, the Park Hyatt um, a golf and spa. I've never seen a golf ball. <laughs> I hear golf. And look at this. It's absolutely stunning. Just see a few little photographs here of the beautiful surroundings and uh, exactly the luxury look at this the little bridges the whole complex was just full of little nooks and crannies and bridges there was hardly uh, people there was wasn't empty but it was just exclusive it felt absolutely fantastic and you got looked after by the staff uh, absolutely phenomenal. And then the last picture there, we've seen Mr. Jeff Webb. Uh, I used the photography skills of Jeff Webb due to the fact that um, my useless iPhone 6 was not giving me good coverage. Here we have the other uh, Mr. and Mrs. Webb with Fiona Webb. So on the left we have Fiona Webb, Jeff's wife. And uh, in, the, in the middle and to the right, we have Bob Webb, who is Clint Easy's top earner. And basically, you know, enjoying the lifestyle and his beautiful wife, Albina. And you don't have to be called Webb to qualify. I'd never seen this before. I had to be educated. This was a shower that you walked into. And it's actually also doubles up as a bath. <laughs> so I missed that one. But um, the, the bathroom was all tiled, gorgeous. One of the bedrooms. Uh, the beautiful Indian wood. Anybody that knows me knows that I love Indian wood. I have it in my lounge. Uh, and look at the balcony. Every room had a balcony with a gorgeous, gorgeous view. The hotel itself and Goa was stunning. So in the first evening, we were all a bit quiet. We, we arrived in Goa, we, were, we had a, a late lunch, uh, gorgeous food, gorgeous company, um, and then time to yourself to enjoy the beautiful surroundings before going to the winter gardens. We were all a bit tired. Some of us had been travelling, especially the Scottish and the Irish, for quite a few hours, so we were perhaps... Not as rowdy <laughs> as what some of the nights ended up being. Um, although there was a few amigos, uh, I won't name, who were a little bit later in bed this night than the rest of us. Here we have Michael Katkar, our new managing director. And I have to say at this uh, point that Michael Katkar, uh, Emma Davis and Carly Carly Mayer has done a phenomenal job uh, to make this an absolutely wonderful trip by a lifetime. Absolutely amazing. There we are, fairly quiet and reserved. I'm snuck in the corner there uh, with Jeff and Fiona Webb um, on the first evening in the winter garden. They look a bit brighter, but Craig and uh, Sharon Davis had actually went out a little bit early to enjoy uh, the the hotel, the sunshine. That was good thinking. Might do that myself for Mexico. And they went to see um, the Taj Mahal. Um, and there we have Fiona. Fiona, you keep sneaking in these photographs. And Myrna and Peter Velik. Um, look out for these names. Ask your sponsor who they are. Find out who's who's qualifying for these trips and find out what you have to do. And there we have Sue uh, Bothwell, and you all know Andy through the um, online success webinars and web, uh, group. So that's his uh, better half. <laughs> 
Hope Andy doesn't see this recording. The wonderful Karen Boardman. We've got lots of time to relax by the pool. Um, this was Karen. Karen loved doing her selfies. Uh, not my ideal choice to have a selfie in a bikino. Bikino? Bikino? Bikini? Um, but if she can, I can. <laughs> and then we have Jeff and Fiona relaxing by the gorgeous pool. Now, there is hundreds of photographs um, but I would bore you to death if I showed you them all tonight uh, in the short space that we have here. What I want to do is to give you a highlight to see that you can do this and you can be here, but also hopefully to get you to capture just the buzz, but you can. I mean, it was spectacular just looking at the photographs. I know it doesn't do it, but the buzz was amazing. So on the first night, we got walked along the beach with the bands and the drums and the lanterns and dancers to this beautiful location for our first meal, for our happy night. And then we have, just before we go, we've got Jackie White, um, and Karen Boardman dressed up to the nines in their hippie gear. And there's me and Eamon Lynch with their rhinos, the rhino group from Scotland and the rhino group from Ireland. We had an absolutely fantastic time. Now, there's an interesting story here because the tattooists, there were two of them, and they had to look through sheets. So I had asked the first tattooist if I could have a rhino because we're the rhino group. And he looked through his sheets and he said, no, I'm sorry, I don't have a rhino. On the guide's advice, he told, told me to go ask the other one. So he, well, I didn't ask. <laughs> they don't understand me. I have to speak in broken English to have any chance, sorry, scratching my nose there, to have any chance whatsoever of being understood. Um, but the second guy just picked up his phone Search for a rhino and picked one. Let's have a look through them. Picked one and then copied it onto my arm. And then just there, as I was getting my rhino done, this little head appeared like this on the table going, what are you getting in McDonald? Can't do the Irish accent. It was Eamon Lynch and I said, well, I'm getting a rhino. And he said, so am I. Um, so interesting, though, isn't it? The first guy couldn't do it. The second guy simply looked at his phone and here hard to recognize because i've got to be honest with you uh, alpina in this picture looks like a little barbie doll with that wig and the sunglasses you can hardly see her, her cute little face but this is our top earner bob webb and his beautiful wife alpina as i say very hard to recognize and you must check out some photographs because there's some amazing, hilarious photographs of Bob Webb and Michael Katker. Uh, Bob is being a fortune teller, but as I say, I couldn't get all the photographs in. We will go through more at the training on Saturday. Let's hope that you can get along on Saturday uh, to find out a lot more. So, uh, lots of things. We, we had day trips. My photographs are not in order. Everything just went in a room in a spin. So there'll be some photographs that might come up that will be on the way to uh, Mumbai or one of the trips in Goa. But we went from Mumbai to, uh, sorry, from Goa to Mumbai to the Park Hyatt in Goa. And just give me two seconds. Sincere apologies about that. Now, this hotel, less than a few weeks ago, was visited by Prince William and Kate. Um, we had photographs on the wall of the President's America, Prince Charles. My favourite quip of the week was Michael Katkar. Uh, who said that Clean Easy had sent, you know, Prince William and Kate along to check the hotel out for the Clean Easy distributors before we got there. And sincere apologies. This is typical. I'm really at your nose tonight. I think it's the excitement. But this is a world famous hotel only in Clean Easy. Um, Fiona Webb and I were talking about when we went on our first trips 
I've been in Clinizzi 24 years and I've been fortunate to be on lots of trips. And when you go on your first trips, you're going to these five star luxurious hotels. But I don't know about you who's listening to this, but I've never been to anything like that before. My budget could never afford what Clinizzi afford for us. And we used to take little souvenirs, the shampoo, the soaps, and lots of little souvenirs. And then find them in a cupboard years later just to discard them. Now, despite laughing at ourselves over that joke of keeping all the bits, I came back from this hotel with lots of bits. It's a Taj Mahal. It's at the gateway to India. It's absolutely infamous. Royalty and presidents stay here. And clean easy distributors. And there it is, the gateway to India. It's, it's unbelievable. That's the view from my bedroom window. It's fantastic. Only in clean easy. There you have it, Obama. Prince Charles was there. Prince William, our future kings, were at this hotel uh, paving the way for clean easy distributors. And that's the main lobby and it's absolutely just opulent, it's stunning, it's beautiful um, and don't worry Terry, I'm recording it. There's Jeff again, borrowed the camera. Now this was just by the pool, it's called the pool bar, the breakfast room. You could come out here and have breakfast, which cost you more, unless you were in the royal suite <laughs> or in the clean easy business. <clears throat> but if you just walk forward a little bit for where Jeff's standing, um, pictures moving in size a little bit there. Uh, if you just walk forward about 100 yards with where Jeff's standing, there was a gorgeous, stunning pool, which there is some pictures of that coming up. But this is our bathroom, unusual clean easy style, decorated with petals and plants and absolutely gorgeous. And just one of the bedrooms, they were all stunning. Stunning, absolutely stunning. We felt like kings and queens. This is one of the trips uh, in between. Uh, I've went, we went this day to see lots of things. We saw the slums, which, you know, you, you, you wonder about whether that would be interesting, but it is. It's a shame that we can't get cleanies out there. But um, in all honesty, though, the slums are not necessarily poor. You've all heard of slum dog, slum, slum dog millionaires. Um, they, they, they move to the slums to run their businesses, which is in trash. It's amazing. It's fascinating. And in the actual tour guides, AJ and his crew were fantastic and giving us lots of information uh, and interest in history about uh, the country that we were visiting. And this is me with Fiona Webb because her husband is my photographer. <laughs> and this is Victoria train station in, uh, in uh, Goa, I think. <laughs> Might be Mumbai. Apologies. Uh, my memory's dreadful. But if you start to finish, it's just... <laughs> it's just completely... You're absolutely shattered. You, you get your lipstick on, you're into this thing. You put your sari on, you're into that one. Despite that, it's amazing. It's the best thing I've ever been on in my life. And I've been on a lot of clean easy trips, but this has my, been my absolute favourite one. Uh, this is the day of the conference, uh, which is back to Goa. Um, and the beautiful Myrna Wellock and her crazy husband, <laughs> Peter. Uh, you'll see some funny photographs of Peter. I've only picked a few photographs. I like this one. Kevin Ryder, absolutely fantastic uh, gentleman, willing to share, um, trying to do the girly pose, um, the Chloe pose, as I call it, and not quite pulling it off. Now, this happened. Jeff Webb sneaked up on Peter Relic and caught him smoking the pipe. <laughs> well, to be honest with you, there was nothing in the pipe. Well, at least that's what Peter said. There was nothing in the pipe. But look at these shenanigans. Come on, do you believe there was nothing in that pipe? Mirna, you've got a lot to put up with. To be honest with you, Peter and Mirna were absolutely fantastic uh, company. And Peter is 
absolutely hilarious. I personally, and you might not notice that, I'm not in this photograph because this was the gala night and I was wearing a sari, as you will see coming up in the next photographs. And I'd arranged for the salon to put the sari on for me. I was no way was I going to attempt to put this sari on. It was miles long. I'd have been like a mummy. Uh, but I went down to the salon and it was shut. So they had to go and get somebody from did they do open up the salon and uh, as a result sadly I missed the group photograph before the gala night. <laughs> but I was there. This is the entrance to the Bollywood night. Now this was my favourite. I absolutely loved this night. I can't believe that the time just went like that. Uh, it was beside Bob Webb and he went, that's 11 o'clock. And I'm like, you're joking. I had the best night. I love Indian colours. Um, I love the sparkle. I love the bling. I mean, look at that beautiful sari and Fiona's beautiful dress and Sarah's gorgeous outfit. I love the bling. I love the fun, I love the music, but you know what made it for me is the dancers and the dancers who got us to join in every single last one of them had a big smile on their face, they passed on their happiness. It was, to me, the best night I have had, I almost could say in my life. It was fantastic. And as, as I say, these photographs just don't, capture it but hopefully they'll give you a glimpse eh, you know what can be achieved now look at the sari there's another photograph coming up with fiona webb i was so impressed it actually looked authentic so to make it more authentic i just had to get this picture with michael um because he's originally indian well his family is he's, he's from britain born in britain uh, but his mum and dad are indian and he looks the part he definitely looks the part i'm if we need a dark wig and a little bit more color to my skin but um, this is our managing director for those of you who don't know but absolutely love that photograph and michael getting dragged up we all got dragged up by i got dragged up by a handsome man so i wasn't complaining we danced and had some brilliant fun michael's a bit shy so he's probably going oh no um but the managing director joins in and as you can see from this photograph I think the sari worked. It was a, uh, it was good. I thoroughly enjoyed that night. Um, I'm feeling the excitement just now. It was a fantastic night, and it all ended too soon. So where do you think this is? <clears throat> this will give you an idea if you look to the right. General Studio. Can you believe this is the outside of one of the Bollywood studios? This is a multi-million pound or a billion um pound dollar they, they use dollars a lot multi-million dollar industry <clears throat> but that was the outside step and it was wasn't too much more luxurious inside it was phenomenal though this was one of the best this has got to be hand in hand with the bollywood night i mean we went to bollywood studio they were filming a comedy this is the starring actor who took time out to have photographs taken with all of us now he was sitting side by side to us um, however, standing side by side, but when I put my pose on, he turned around and did the same pose, which was really funny. And it was just, as I say, absolutely phenomenal. We were allowed to use the props. Uh, I was just getting my photograph there. Somebody suggests that David feed me some grapes or potente. They were plastic. <laughs> so, and, you know, the throne, the final photograph I think this is, is the throne. Um, because Clooney's really did make us feel like kings and queens problem. So, top tips. Belief. Well, you might not believe it right away. Try and get the belief from me. Email me, lynnclinizy at googlemail.com. You can be there. But the most important thing, tip I can give you is your reason why. Why you want to be there? Is it for the experience? Is it for the brilliant holidays? Is it to get to go distribute and earn 12, 13, 1400 pounds a month? You need to be strong in your why and the goals need to be really, really focused. 
you know, put Mexico on your, your phone, put Mexico on your screensaver, speak to your sponsor every day, make sure you sit down with your sponsor and get a plan. It really is just focus and follow the system. The system works. And I'd like to at this point recognise Kelsey. Kelsey's been in the business two weeks, less than two weeks. Two weeks today. So her group got set up probably two weeks tomorrow. Um, she's achieved £336 plus in sales, combination of online sales and catalogue sales with the five that you get with your kit. Now, Kelsey's circumstances are such that it's better for us to communicate online and easier. So she relies on the training videos to learn. And now that she's getting a free catalogue, she's watching the catalogue retail video. There's a clue there. Follow the system. Watch the videos. Everything I'm teaching you on a weekly basis, it works. This is the league table for India for SEDs and Premiers. I'm at number four. I'm trying to get higher up there uh, but what I really 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 want is my team to be on the trips with you if India told me anything at all now I had lots of team there but I want my Scottish team people were talking to just now uh, you guys down uh, um, Fiona and Terry and people outside Scotland Delane um, and Terry <laughs> uh, but I, I just said my Scottish team purely from habit but people were working front level with I want you to be there with us on that trip and you can be eating itself finished I'm going to uh, just pause the recording for now and um, so I'll stop the video uh, but stay online so I can let you know when the next meeting and trainings are so just